Hello everybody! Today we're going to get wasted. And I don't mean that in the figurative of sense. Uh, I actually had a different game in mind for you today, and I do apologize. I know we haven't been, uh, doing as many of these. We lost one of our pups in our family, so... We've, uh, we've been dealing with some heavy stuff here, personally, so... I'm trying to get back into this. Bear with us. It's been a little rough. Anyways, let's get right to the Let's Play. Uh, I've had this one for a while. I played it once. The year is 1980. No, it's the future. 1980. I wasn't the biggest fan of it then, only because I didn't like that I had to rush. nuclear blast eviscerates a small U.S. Air Force base in the rural town of Damascus, Arkansas. I do like that uh, they're using an old game that predated Scorched Earth, the tank game. As the American Titan II missiles plow through the Soviet countryside, the USSR is only able to mount a meager counterattack from remote satellite locations. There is a dude, though, that seriously, much like Spelunky, you have to haul ass when you explore the rings every time. And that's for some people, but I, you guys know me if you see me do Let's Face. I like to explore. So that got a minus point During for me, and probably still will. The good and the gilded invested heavily in next generation bomb shelters, enormous self sustaining subterranean cryogenic compounds designed to preserve life until the outside world becomes habitable again. Compounds which, due to cost cutting business measures in the name of competition and industrial espionage, failed to work entirely. Coolers. Bathed in lethal radiation, the greatest minds of the 20th century and all living memory of culture, technology, and agriculture are lost. While on the surface, the very hardiest specimens of humanity cling to life, survive, then thrive. I like the fetch of the mullet. A new world emerges. An Irsaz post-apocalyptic stillborn 80s continues indefinitely, populated entirely by the toughest, meanest, and outright dumbest of God's creations, the wasters. I feel like that much has actually happened. The barren desert landscape of the western wastes is host to bitter factionalized warfare. I do love the artwork. And that's our work. The sands that fuels all of uncivilization. Buried deeper than the coolers' chambers, the very radiation that killed off society's chosen few imbued their portable provisions with a sick green glow and a radioactive buzz. Booze that affectionately came to be known. And those dumb enough to weather its taste found themselves taking a sharp detour off the human evolutionary highway, mutating in strange and confounding ways, and acquiring both permanent brain damage and a ravenous addiction to the stuff. Against this backdrop of organized chaos, the wasters scrabble in the dirt looking for just a drop of the good stuff. So obviously right you're a waster. Wrong place at the right time with the wrong drink could be a major headache for those who seek power. Uh, and your job is to scavenge, do all the good stuff. You do get a home. Like I said, I just I don't like that I don't get to explore as much as I like because I'm a glutton for that. I am looking into um, fixing up my camera even more. By the way, and this camera um, owns Mick Nevy Hands. Um, I'll go with whatever. I don't really care. I like the hair color. The eyes look a little shifty, eh? Let's go with hard boiled. Holy cow, that's hard boiled. Looks squirrely. <laughs> it's tapped. Oh my god, that is every anime ever. That's a goth. Oh, I'm not goth. Uh, let's, uh,. What's uh what's with the mouth there? Nope. Neutral. Mind the gap. Less. Greater. Gormless. Chipper. Neutral. 
uh, sideways, or whelp. I feel like we're going to start with a whelp and see where we go from there. Good enough. Want to where we can see him. Hate to break it to you, but you've just wandered your way into becoming the new boy's first big score. Yeah, new boys! Rip and shred! Nothing personal, it's just how things work out here in the western wastes. And am I wrong? I just a dude on the way to the left looked like wastes, one of the Venture yeah. Brothers. See, rule of thumb around these parts is that you get wasted, or you get wasted trying! And we're bad! We're tough! We're inexperienced, but we got the right toed. Even a virgin dingling is a chance of being a bona fide bone blaster the first time through. Can it, boneheads? Bottom line is, we new boys aren't afraid to turn you into another wasteland statistic unless you hand over everything you got and get the heck out of here. There's three of us and one of you. Wait, that's it? This ain't hardly no- Well, a new tank. This butt munch came here to make a booze run with this stuff. To risk neck and nutsack down in the depths of the cooler, armed only with these. Ain't that right? And if this crap's good enough for old fart whip over there, it'll be at least- We split it 50-50-50. Right, boss? Like- Shut it, you rat buffoon. We'll discuss it. As for you, waster, don't even- Yeah! Holy cow, can we just play the damn game? Not that I don't appreciate a good intro. A good lord. Um... I'm gonna give them credit. There's a lot you can do on this, uh, as far as enjoying the ambience, but... As I said before, the one thing I do not like is that you are chased ravenously by what they call the yeah. SOB. No way that waster's getting this thing open! <laughs> or the tough son of a bitch. Your stuff? But now ain't the time for that. How the So you're telling me. Crap! Boss ain't gonna be too happy about this. Tell you what. I'm gonna get this thing open and lock you out like the boss wanted. Just you sit tight and don't try anything funny, you got it? Um, I do like the old interface, however. Let's, uh, let's first look at my guy here. Uh, I don't got much going on here. So let's toss these on, shall we? But now, uh, the thing that I, I think, I mean it. Don't 
move. Trippin' hazards! The boss was gonna use these trippin' hazards to cover our tracks, but he spelled them all! Stay back! These things will explode if they detect any movement. Please, Waster! You gotta help! Got rid of straps and safety pants. Blinky, though, has like stuff that I need. So the crowbar, some easy breathers, got a rusty old pistol, yellow headband. Why in the hell But I want these rag pants and shit instead of what I'm wearing. I don't know. Well guys, let's see how we do here. If I remember, it's important to take a look around for not too long, because like I said, you don't get out of an entire cooler soon, and that dude comes, and he does not play around. Um, he, he is... he don't play. What's a DPS in this puppy? Shit. We'll be using that. Um, easy breather is a better leg armor than any of these other things, I think. What am I wearing now? Oh, safety pants. They just, they do negative. Five. Uh, Fader straps. Easy breathers, they'll do all sorts of good shit. So this we're going to set up to one, this we're going to set up to two, but I believe we need some headband. Can't be in an 80s game without a headband. Um, and I'm probably not reading this right, guys. Did I not read this right here? Am I doing a horrible thing here with this? 5% damage from melee attacks. This is just 1% damage altogether. I don't know, I don't know. I'm gonna go with what I'm wearing now and see. Um, but like I said, I did not like that I would... I, I felt like I got... Rag pants. 
One of those things that I had there was pretty damn good, actually. The Raider straps are alright, but the Easy Breather... I think we're gonna get rid of... the safety pants. And toss on the Easy Breathers. We're also gonna get rid of the Raider... and pep on these. So let's do that real quick. And see if that helps me out any. Also, I feel like pistol ammo for pistols is a good idea. You see what I'm saying, guys? This is hard, man, because... God, now look at That's a better leg armor there. Doesn't it? 50. That's speed, sneak, and tinker. She's got armor, hit, shoot, and obliterate. What is this dick I got? Safety pants again. I don't know. But frankly, I'm just trying to get the hell through this entire level before that shithead shows up. Yes, I'm bitching about him a lot. Um, oh my god, son of a bitch. I forgot I actually had a gun. Let's get some shooting gun, shall we? She looks like everybody that I always expect to be like. I have a problem with that. Base damage DPS. Base damage DPS. 6 to 13. 10 to 20, so let's get rid of the die pistola and pick up the point niner. My father's rusty pistol. Don't do shit actually. So we're gonna pick that up and make that number two. Now we're also gonna go ahead and eat some junk food here. Why do I keep doing that? I need to pick up another point nine or um I don't know, I mean I can see the point that the developers try to make with it. And I've seen threads going back and forth on it, people complaining about it here and there. Don't rag on the game just because it's my own personal bitch about it. I just like to explore games. Um, so to the dev, I'm sorry that it's my thing. Uh, I think you have made a beautiful looking game. I think that it's very cool looking. I do dig that about it highly. I like the chaos about it. Uh, I, I do dig that this is a road bike. There he is, Syndicate of Buzzkills. And this is the guy that's an asshole that I was warning you all about, right here. And he is. I'm not trying to spend too much time on the puffin floor.
Okay. Yeah, I like wheat bread. I'm just trying to get the hell out of here and away from it. It's a weapon. Gas mask. Is that better than my yellow headband? Mm. I can't carry it to right wood. So that didn't do a lot to it. Apparently that's how you escape. And then you end up home. And this is home. Uh, we were only doing one, one run of this. Uh, so we are definitely going to store some extra stuff in here. For one thing, the extra mud of my guts in here, good idea to do. And the rifle ammo, definitely, I feel like we should be storing that. Um, and the liquid, whoa, whoa, no. You know what, and we're going to put the liquid bread in there, because I certainly found enough food while I was in there. I don't think I need to worry about that. I don't understand what my TP does yet. So what does my TP do? Okay. So I can get different hangovers and buzzes from all this. I don't, uh, I don't really know. But we're going to keep my TP from each mission in there in case I die, just in case. Oh, whoa, what's all this shit here? So I got some pistol ammo. Yeah. We'll grab two of those for emergency. We'll grab one for emergency. Let's not get greedy. Um. Anyways, this, again, has been the game wasted. This is an Adult Swim game. It's on sale a lot. You can, you can end up finding this a lot. Uh, somebody said you can actually upgrade your home in this. I don't know if that's true or not. Uh, like I said, this is the first time I have really got to play this. But I do think this one will stay in my... Uh, I, I think this one's going to stay on my computer for a little while so I can dick around with it some more and uh, give it a much more fair shot. Maybe I was a little preemptive of being uh, bitchy about it. I think, uh, I think we're going to see what I can do with this, basically. Oh, crafted celebrated, so you can actually craft stuff. So, oh, this stuff comes in solid too. So we're gonna put some mutt mutt guts in there. It's solid red. So 
So that's some good healing. So I feel like that would be good for a run. Um, I don't know if it's true or not, actually. Okay, so yeah, there is. There's different things I can, uh, different things you can do here. To build and create little things around. Um, like I said, I did quite enjoy the artwork, at least. So I would give them that. Um, I would just like to see an option to turn on or off that baddie at the end of the level because I like to explore and I feel like I would like to dungeon crawl a little more and explore without a timer. That's my own preference. But anyways, so I have been Bones of Bones and Gary. Thank you guys for being so patient with us while we get back on our feet with all this. I don't know what the hell that little floating thing there in the corner was. I suppose I have to figure that one out. Um, and, uh, yeah. Thank you guys very much. You'll notice the camera's a bit clear. It looks a bit darker in here today. I do not know why. Um, oh yeah, it's definitely time for me to hit the road. Well, thank you guys very much. We had a different game in mind today, but it just would not OBS in this game hate each other. So it is just not happening. I do not know why. Um, anyways, uh, you guys have a great day. Please subscribe, give a like, all that good stuff. And uh, we'll see you later.